hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we are back with another tutorial and this one is about how to integrate google login in your sp.net core web application uh, so guys uh, most of the users don't use a default way of google login in sp.net core application which is the identity login uh, because that is like quite complicated to customize so they don't try to use that and they require a um, most more customizable uh, functionality that they want for google login so for that purpose we have this tutorial and uh, in this we are not using any kind of third party package the only package that we are using is the rest sharp package uh, for making the api calls and this is all we are using so uh, i already showed you that we are working on the dot net core 8.0 uh, version and you can do the same for .NET Core 3 or .NET Core 7 and 6 also so don't have any issue there so the first thing that you have to know guys is that you require two values and uh, the first one is the client ID and client secret uh, for getting the information from Google login uh, and if you have this information then you can directly go on this code and uh, use that okay so we will give you a direct link of the code uh, in the end of the video so keep watching till then so guys the first thing that we have done here is we have one anchor link anchor tag where we have google login button and in this guys you have to uh, check two things the first thing is the client ID must be the client ID which you have created okay um, because you cannot use any random client ID because the redirect URI must match with your redirect URI okay so the second thing that you have to notice is the redirect URI now this must be matched which you entered while while creating the credentials so this is these two are the important part that you have to notice so now I will just run the application to show you more how it will work. So you can also make it dynamic uh, to get the values from the database or the web config. So there is no issue about that and then you will be able to uh, keep less information on the view. But because this is just a demo, so I have put all the details on the view itself. So you can modify that so here you can see that we have this google login button and when i click on this one it will go to the uh, screen where we have all those google accounts okay so because i already have signed up with that account so it has gone directly to the redirect uh, uri okay so now because i still want to show you how to do that okay so we will do something here we will just try to not sign out but okay so maybe I can show you in some other window like where i didn't had that account login so i will try to show you that in that okay so i will close this one and now we will run the application again So I will just copy the URL and go to the one which didn't have that already and we will click on the Google login so now it will require you to uh, enter your Gmail and password so let me get the Gmail and the password
okay so um, now you will log in with your account and then once the login is successful then it will ask for the permission and you will continue and then you will go on the google login callback now which is the uh, redirect uri which we added here uh, and also here so this uri must be correct guys if this is not correct then it will not uh, work and it will show the error so this must be the correct one so here you can see that it has got the code over here and then we will use this authorization code uh, for getting the details and access token so first we will try to get the access token here and you will notice we have the access token and then the other api is for getting the details of the user from the access token so here you will see that we have user details so uh, this one this was the one which we logged in from and then we have this model which we are used you can create a model with the properties and serialize that into C sharp so this is how you will be able to log in with Google so after this you can log into your uh, another page or save the details to the cookie or something so then you can uh, use this as per your requirement so now coming back to the how you will get the code is you have to uh, go to google.com and search for code tonight so this is our official website and we will provide a direct link so don't you worry about the part so you have to go on the first link that you will see and then uh, if you will scroll down and notice there will be a blog uh, so we are gonna provide a direct link so don't worry about that at all okay uh, so still this is if you don't find uh, that direct link uh, in that case you can use this one okay so we will say Google login so you can see how to integrate Google sign in in sp.net core 8.0 so this one is the one which you will see and uh, in the blog you will be able to see the steps for generating the credentials also so that will be a good step and then it will also have all the code that I just showed you in the video and so this is just the same okay and also one more thing guys you can actually download the code from here using these options and if everything seems working for you then don't forget to subscribe the channel and you also you can help us through uh, super thanks so thank you guys